What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Tits here, aka Two in a Shirt, doing something a little different. It's a quick Sony Vegas tutorial. This is Sony Vegas 10. Um, it pretty much has everything 11 has in it, and 11 just had errors constantly for me, and uh, so I just used 10. So, in this tutorial, I just want to show you this is just, you know, for like best settings for rendering videos mainly like gaming videos and whatnot especially like Modern Warfare 3 so before I get into the quality and everything I use um, first thing I want to show you is up here project video properties I'll go ahead and leave it on here for a second I do 1280 by 720 because 1920 by 1080 just doesn't look that much different to me and you know it will make such a huge file and most people just watch 720 anyways so um, you want lower field first you want 1.00 square 0 degrees set this 29.970 stereoscopic mode off the pixel format you want that on a 32 bit floating point you'll have to change that you want full range of colors 2.22 video for the gamma you want to change this to best motion type uh, Gaussian or Gaussian, whatever how you pronounce it. De interlace method, de interlace method, none. And have this unchecked for adjust source media to better match project and render settings. Um, and then you'll click on start all new projects with these settings and click apply. And then you can go up to template, and name it whatever you want, and save it. Actually, wait a minute. Do I? Yeah, that's the right one. Okay. Um, audio. Pretty much just leave it like it is. And then that's it. So that's all for that. And then grab a file real quick. Cinematic. And grab another one. Okay. So let's say you're going to render. You know, you got your video done. You'll go up here render as and you want it to be main concept main concept AVC sauce AAC MP4 so just drop down list go here custom type in whatever you want click this to save your template <coughs> include video do custom frame size type in 1280 by 720 make sure this is unchecked do main 29.970 you don't want to do 60 frame rate because YouTube will only show up to 30 FPS and then field order none pixel aspect ratio 1.0 number reference frames 4 use the block blocking filter check mark and then constant bit rate um, here's the thing this is like gonna really do the quality of your video like really like uh, show qu the quality like you know how good it can be and whatnot. Um, I use 20 million bitrate, and my videos look you know amazing like that. And if I were to watch a video on my desktop, it looks phenomenal, like it was like an HD movie on like a Blu-ray or something. But of course, YouTube is going to downgrade your video, like bitrate wise. Uh, I have the web page for that um, somewhere. It tells you what it downgrades to. And if I remember correctly, if you're doing, if you're um, uploading like a 12 video by 720 video, uh, it'll downgrade it somewhere around 10 or 15 million bitrate or something. So I just choose like 20 million bitrate to be safe. So like 50 million bitrate, there'll be a little bit of difference in the video of quality. Like if you were doing, if you're watching it on your computer, but once again, once you upload it to YouTube, when it does the compression, YouTube will downgrade it, you know, for everybody. And um, you know it's not going to be anywhere near 50 million bit rate. 20 million is the highest you need. So audio, 48,000 by 900, and then 192,000. You can also do 44,000. Mm, project, make sure you change this video rendering quality to best. And for stereoscopic 3D mode, use project settings. And that's it. Save template, and you are good to go. Um, these are like I've watched so many tutorials and I took a little bit from each tutorial tried them all out to get the best renders lastly 
what I want to talk about is, you know, I'm not going to show you how to edit a video and put effects in and do all that. Um, this isn't that type of video tutorial. But let's say, okay, let's say this is our video. So basically, the three things I do before I render. Go over here to track FX, click it. Oh, come on. Okay, good. Go ahead and go Sony Brightness and Contrast, add it. S color Curves, add it. And Sharpen, add it. Alright. Now, go to the beginning of the video. Well, actually, it's going to do it for the whole video. So, this is what it'll start at. 0, 0, 0 0.5L. To get that really good contrast, I do 0 0.11 for contrast and 0 0.65 for contrast center. Brightness leave at 0 0.00. Save that template. Color curves, you know, you can just move this up or down like that. And it'll change the way uh, it looks. I go to, I do like this. And then sharpen is reset to none. Sharpen is so that like lettering well this I don't have if this were like a gameplay from MW3, MW3 there'd be you know like the kill like the kill streaks here and everything and that's glitching a lot of people's videos if you do sharpen that will sharpen it up and everything down in the lower left hand corner and in, um, but it, but if you leave it on reset to none it won't be too much and it messes up the actual video uh, and whatnot so your color and everything will have that perfect rich contrast like you see in my videos now you'll see in the latest video I changed the color curve a little bit I did have it a tad too dark like it looked good but in some parts like the second to last video or I mean like the Moab fail video if you're if you watch like when you when I'm in the building on hard hat or like I'm like the roofs above me and everything by C flag it's too dark so because I had this like like right here or something and that looks good nice and rich but on shadowy dark parts of the map it'll be too much but anyways you know it starts out something like this all you gotta do is you just grab it drag it up and then you go left or right to get the perfect the perfect one you like pull this down so it's horizontal with the line same thing for the top one go left for brighter right for darker that's all you gotta do and you could pick what you like best I like this the best just how I have it if you want to go ahead and look at the screen and one last thing if you right click on your video clip go to properties it's on smart resample okay that's fine but like if you have any slow motion in your clip if people know know to look for it they're gonna see ghosting it's called where there's a shadowy image around your person and around your gun and this or that you always want to click on disable resample that's so you disable ghosting which you can google that yourself and learn more about it lastly this is for like you very fresh people to editing videos it's stupid that you have these black bars here like I don't know why you'd put a video out like this guys all you gotta do go to your pan no go to your pan crop move this in or out to change like watch move it in zooms in which you can also make that effect if you don't want to montage and you see me zoom in and stuff like that so there you go no black bars because it's filled you also can go up here and just pick what you want and you want like 16 uh, nine widescreen TV aspect. See, perfect looking. So, don't have black bars here and here. Nobody is ever gonna want to watch your videos. It just looks stupid, and obviously, it's an easy fix. So, this is a basic tutorial, guys, just for making up like the perfect Call of Duty rich, good quality videos. Um, if you yeah, and also, you know. If you guys are like geniuses with Vegas and you have any cool tips, drop me a comment or message me. I love learning, you know, stuff about Vegas and stuff. And if this video helped you, I'm glad.
please leave a comment, like, and subscribe this video. And, um, yeah, maybe I'll do another one on actual effects and tips. But there's already really good tutorials out like that. Of, like, with people that know way more than me about, like, effects that have been editing, you know, graphic artists for a long time, whatnot. So I'm just giving you this one to show you all the best settings I've researched and studied to make, like, the best quality, uh, COD videos. So your videos can look like mine. So, yeah, there you go. And, uh, that's all I got for you. I will, uh, catch you guys later and hope you enjoy the video. Peace.